Hey guys, how's it going? This is my Bianchi James Arness gun rig. John Bianchi worked for Arvo Jala in his shop and then he went out on his own to create his own leather company. And Bianchi's known for their law enforcement stuff as well. But I had this custom uh, ordered and I actually talked to the guy who was making it as he was making it and I ordered more of the bullet loops because I knew Matt Dillon uh, had a few more bullet loops than what I was seeing and uh, he went ahead and did that. I also wanted this in 357 Magnum, the reason being that the Ruger that I own is 357 Magnum. But this is a really, really nice double lined rig. This is a little bit, there you can see that it's also got a serial number. That's a James Arness autograph. And it is burned, I think, or carved. Somehow, it is stamped into this leather deep. All the stitching is excellent on this. Needs absolutely nothing. It does have a mark. The bullets, make sure that you don't store your uh, gun leather with bullets in it. Uh, if you do that, the, the tanning... Uh, the tanning leather will actually somehow make the brass uh, corrode and you'll get little black streaks. But when the bullets are in place you don't see them and actually this one doesn't have, uh, have it too bad on the back. See, it's lined here. There's also a couple stamps on it. I'll let you check out. There's James Arnesis. And I also ordered a shoulder holster because this, I wanted it to fit this Ruger. That's a James Arness stamp. And down here, it says it's made for Ruger Vicaro, which is what that gun is. And uh, it's John Bianchi's Frontier Gun Leather. And you can also see the stamp. This is beautiful, beautiful. There's no strain on anything. And I think it's, it doesn't have the steel insert, although it does look like it does. But aside from that, I believe this, this is every bit as nice as an Arvo Ojala rig. That's debatable, but, uh, and that's the Alfonso rig. It also has John Bianchi stamp, and this is a size 42, so it fits, uh, fits a good size person as well as uh, me with a 33 inch waist. 33 or 34. It's got the gunfighter buckle and that buckle actually, uh, I believe, yeah, it unsnaps. At least I think it does. No, it doesn't. But I think there may be a screw there that allows it yeah, yeah, that's what it is. It's a screw rivet. So you just unscrew it and you take that, take that gunfighter buckle off if you want to. Learn something new every day. But yeah, uh, it's just a beautiful rig and I hope you guys enjoyed it. James Arness. He was very proud to work with John Bianchi on that, and I can see why. Take it easy, guys. Later on.